In this question, we have to match the equations of rational functions with graphs of rational functions. This question is very abstract. They don't actually tell us any information about what the values of a and b are. So it may seem very difficult to answer this question. And remember, the x-intercepts are always in the numerator and vertical asymptotes are always in the denominator. So what that means is each of these functions has one x-intercept and one vertical asymptote. The only thing that makes them different is the powers. So even powers are bouncing, odd powers are crossing. I'm writing bounce bounce because they're both squared power. So. Let's look at the first graph here. It can't be the first graph because our x-intercept crosses. So the first graph's out. We'll look at the second graph. The second graph, the x-intercept crosses. So that's out. The third graph, the x-intercept bounces. That's good. Remember, the x-intercept's in the numerator. Now the vertical asymptote it's a little hard to see, but it goes up and up, it also bounces. So that means graph C is the first one here. Let's go with a, we'll figure out the graph for the last one. I'll let you do the two ones in the middle, but we'll do the last graph here. So it goes cross in the x-intercept, cross in the vertical asymptote. So let's look at the first graph. It crosses at the x-intercept, so that's a potential. The second one crosses at the x-intercept, so that's also another potential winner right there. Uh, graph D, however, bounces on the x-intercept. So graph D is not going to be uh, this one. So it's either A or B. Now what's the difference? The vertical asymptote. So I'm going to draw the vertical asymptote in here. So the B graph, the vertical asymptote goes down and down, and so that's a bounce vertical asymptote. Uh, the A graph goes up and down, those are opposites on the vertical asymptote, and so that's what we call a cross vertical asymptote right there. So that means the A graph has the cross x-intercept and the cross vertical asymptote, so it has to be A.